was born in, in uh, Maitland, in a suburb of Maitland called Talara. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I went to school at the Monte Pio as a little fella, which was a, a convent school, day, day school. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I went to Maitland Morris Brothers and uh, they, were, they were great with discipline. Yes. Discipline from day to day stuff. Uh, discipline also with attending mass, which wasn't really called discipline, but sure. but it was you know you went to mass. My dad was a very good Catholic, and uh, he attended mass every every time there was a, a mass, an important day, and and a Sunday mass. When I started my football, he uh, he again just backed me up a hundred miles an hour. You know it was really wonderful. He drove to Sydney, which was about 120 miles in the old miles yes, days. Yes. 120 miles. He drove down in the morning and uh, the game would go on and then he, the game would finish and he'd come over to the club and say, wait till I get changed and come over to the club and say hooray and uh, off he'd go and drive back. <laughs> and how did you get to get into the league? Uh, a neighbour of mine, Alan Williams, who lived, his parents had the little general store next door to our home mm -hmm. and uh, he was going down to training at the start of one year and he just said to me, why don't you come down and have a game of touch with us? And I said, oh, you're all right. And so I jumped on my horse and he rode his bike and I rode my horse. And we went down and uh, uh, played touch football with them. And uh, uh, the, the premiership started the next couple of weeks and uh, they picked me in the, uh, in the side in the under 16s. How could you play practically an entire game of rugby league bar 10 minutes with a broken jaw. Well, it, it was pretty uncomfortable, but I, I, had, I used to always wear a mouth guard and I just kept jamming my mouth together and I, I put my, uh, the under, my palm of my hand under my chin and push it up into the, into the mouth guard. I don't even want to think about that, actually. <laughs> so it was always very, very good then until I got tackled and then it would fall apart again and then I'd have to repeat the, the journey. Did you ever forgive him? Uh, it was just a game, you know, things happen. But the thing that I, that I thought it, it was a bit of a squib. When you were playing football, did you ever pray for a, a good game, a win? Every morning when I woke up on that day. Obviously, you play a part in the church now. Uh, you're a regular at church on the Gold Coast. Yes, I, I go every Sunday. What do you get out of going to church? You know, I just think I get a lot of peace, and uh, and uh, you know, I don't know how to put it, but I feel very, very good after I've been there. Great to know that you've got your children living close by as well. You've also got grandchildren now. Would yes. you like to tell us about the children and the grandchildren? Oh, they're all going really, really great. And the, the boys mm -hmm. are really keen on rugby league. Yes. And they play rugby league. What have been some of the highlights in your life after football? I went into the hotel industry. Yes. And I, and I loved the industry. I, mm -hmm. I loved the people that were in it. And I, I met some really, really great people. And uh, I was in Gladstone for uh, two oh, right. years. Yes. It was it was great. And then we built a new hotel at Bribey Island, and it was tremendous. And then we came to Southport, and uh, I was in three pubs at Southport. Yes. If you hadn't have played football, and you hadn't have run hotels, what else do you think you would have done in life or wanted to do? I'd have probably finished up in the menswear industry, and. Uh, Hopefully, I, I think I, I love that industry, yes. and, and I, uh, I think that I would have finished up in a menswear store. And you're one of those rare footballers actually played for Queensland and New South Wales. Yes, yes. Well, at the time, everybody said you can't do that. I said, well, I have. Oh, I still just follow Souths. Do you pray daily as well? M morning and night. What would you like to do next? Well, I think I'm probably at the age that I'd uh, <laughs> be quite happy to be plugging along and doing just exactly what I'm doing now. Thank you for having us in your home. It's been an absolute pleasure. It's, it's been a wonderful pleasure for me.